Hey there folks, I'm Mark from Spectrum Pulse, and today we have from Fen, Monuments to Absence. This has been one of my most anticipated black metal releases in 2023, as a textural experience in terms of shredding, poetry, and sheer progressive immensity. There's a richness to Fen that I've liked for years, especially on 2017's Winter. And while their 2019 album, The Dead Light, felt a little overly clean for my taste, it was still a great listen. And the buzz was suggesting that this new project was set to return to a nastier, crushing tone. And yeah, it certainly does but it might feel like a slight overcorrection, going even further towards death and even thrash metal, while still maintaining that cleaner production style, especially around the drums that I still don't really love, especially as this album returns to a longer runtime and the dynamics feel a bit more subdued, especially in the transitions and looking for melodies that would really catch my ear. Now, the poetry is still visceral and potent. It's an anti-religion screed, but I like how it exposes not just a sadomasochistic fervor in that belief itself, but how all the monuments to higher powers can feel when there's nothing really behind them. When the vainglorious conviction confronts the bleak emptiness at the very end, that feels like a thematic culmination between both winter and the deadlight, with some truly graphic imagery. And you know what, for what it's worth, I love how Fen can still assemble these terrific, seething grooves, and the majority of these songs have moments that'll really grab you, like the slow, simmering build of the title track with the great bass lines all the way through to the progressive ebb and furious return of Two Silence and Abyss We Reach from the haunted, simmering waves of Truth is Futility to perhaps the most melodically robust song on the project with Racked and the excellent slow crescendo of All is Lost. But at the same time, I wish this project felt a bit more memorable for more than just the sheer pummeling excess and exquisite agony. And as much as it was mostly texturally sound, the full runtime can make this kind of draining. It's absolutely really damn good at many points on the cusp of greatness, just not sure it gets all the way there. All I'm saying. But hey, if you want to see more reviews, be, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, put this out there, leave comments. If you guys want to get projects on my schedule for the weeks ahead, the link to my Patreon is right over there. And as always, I'm Mark, you're watching Spectrum Pulse, and I'll see you next time.